So hey, we're here. I'm Sunny the host. We're here at the uh, Troubadour. Yeah, Troubadour. Just say it's just like that. Troubadour. Troubadour means composer. We're here at the composing show. Put together by Beat Peace. I'm here with none other than the beautiful, wonderful Jay Kia. She just came off and performing. She's amazing. Jay. So just, just, just let them know right now. All I was with them about this is Jay Kia. You don't know what you should know, but let them know. This is Jay Kia. Hi guys. I am Jay Kia. J A K E Y A. I represent me and Limitless, just being you and being fearless. I am a Philadelphia native. I love to have fun. I rock stages all over, so please follow me. I'm on Instagram, J also J A Y E A W E S O M E. Awesome. On Facebook, J Kia backslash Limitless. Um, look for my EP. It's coming out in August. My first EP. I'm releasing some new music finally. Wow, 10, 14, 
17. Listen, at 10, 14, and 17, I was only thinking about Ninja Turtles, uh, Ninja Turtles, and maybe Power Rangers. That was, that was it. Ninja Turtles got kicked up the Power Rangers came. It was weird for me. You guys put on an amazing show, an amazing show. Uh, this album, tell me something about the CD because I, you performed uh, uh, This Is My Time and what's it? Don't let, don't let the world. It's so positive. Like, tell me, you wrote one of the songs, right? Yeah. So tell me about the song. Well, Don't Let the World End, This Is My Time. We all kind of added to it as it grew, but um, all of our writing is positive, motivational, inspirational music, so all of our messages behind everything are super uh, motivating, and I think that's one of the reasons that keeps us doing what we do. Um, the lyrics to Don't Let the World is about being your true self, and this is us being our true self. And so well spoken. And 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 you know this process. What is now? When did you get started singing? When did you know that you just had that voice that was going below everybody's mind? right here, how did everybody, when she pulled out this beautiful violin and began playing, please tell me, when did you start playing the violin?
know that you come past a, a lot of great stars, but you come past some that just wow you so much. They can, they can come in big packages or very little packages. They can be little queen or you can be honored and stand next to one, just like I'm doing right now, stand next to Little King. Little King, what's up, man? Listen. Walking the strip, sitting in the cars, the bets being walls, the cops still drawn, we yell in the mix. Cage new fights, the cuffing on six, walking our bikes, goes riding the whips. A bit of drugs, New Jersey thugs, they release some plugs, when we're about spit, slide to the net and grab a select, bust as a grub, don't as a set.
Shit on the deck, caught in the drink. All diversity, all music, all positivity here. And I'm here with none other than Nick Capron and Lilac Ocean. They did an amazing job up here. I love Nick. Come up here, man, because it was it was at one point where you just like guided the band. Led the band as with his head nods and, and, and Troubadour being about composing. You stood up there, you sat up there, one of the and composed with these amazing young men back here. Tell us more about this band. Well, this is a band that I actually put together uh, over the past two weeks to do this show. Oh, wow. Uh, we started rehearsal this Tuesday, so they only heard this music this week. Uh, this is all my original stuff, uh, which is going to be recorded again once I actually start recording this for my album, which is. Sometime in the summer, I'm not sure when that's going to be. Here. But I mean, this is a fantastic group of people. And they just work together so well. And it's cool, like, people come in, and, you know, at the last minute, like, you catch you learn all this stuff during sound check. Eli learned the whole set last night. Look at that. He's so modest. I feel like that's for a better group of people. I mean, they're very humble. And they, they, just, they, they get the job done with humility and compassion. They get it. They truly get it. And that's hard to find, especially today. So one thing, one real big question I have to ask, I heard so much in your music. You guys really did an amazing job. One thing I want to what inspires you? Like, what, what, what music do you listen to, or who do you oh, listen to that inspires I listen to so many people. I, I like to be like a sponge, just to take whatever I can from anybody. But for me, like, my biggest influences are probably like Miles Davis, John Coltrane, Kendrick Lamar. Uh, in terms of drums, uh, like Tony Williams, oh, nice. Elvin Jones, Roy Haynes, Dennis Chambers, Chris Dean. Oh. I mean, if we're talking like real musicians, like Chip Corea, um, yeah. 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 What? What? I heard a future back here. Yes. <laughs> 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 Told you. Versatility. Versatility. Uh, uh, also, I'm, uh, I'm really into old school funk. I love D'Angelo. I love Tribe Called Quest. Yeah. So, so, like the hip hop stuff. I'm a huge, huge James Brown fan. Yeah. Uh, so, I like to spread myself out. I like a lot of world music as well, so I listen to a lot of Indian classical music. Nice. I listen to a lot of uh, Ghanaian music, African music, uh, a lot of Indonesian classical music, uh, Gamelan style music. So I mean, I just like to, to be a sponge to really just take from, from everything I listen to. This. As long as music exists in the world with integrity, I find it interesting. You know? There's nothing I can say is wrong as long as it exists with integrity. So that's what I'm Listen, there you have it. If y'all don't check out uh, Nick and this amazing band, they are definitely well deserving of it. The music is awesome. The band is amazing. <laughs> These are young men here in Philadelphia. Y'all make sure y'all check them out. All out on 205. You know what's up. We out of
But this song delivers the same way every time. Was let you know while you were writing it, you felt it. While you were writing it, you lived it. While you were writing it, the pain seeped through your skin and went into the pen and came out in the ink and I spread the all over the paper. I love the way you just said that. I love the way you just said that. He's amazing. I couldn't have even said it anymore. It's an amazing, amazing song. <laughs> Yo, tell no, them. why interview me? Like, yo, I, I, wait, 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 because it was, it was, because I love that. Listen, I literally. Can you just describe it? Really? Like, that's, yeah, that's, exactly that's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. And you, what you happened felt that. You felt that. The song, the first time you sang it, listen, the first, the first time you sang it, we were at Warm Dance. And I think it was that day we came, y'all came from the um, American Idol. American yeah, Idol. just got rejected. Let me tell you what happened. They came, it was the day they came from American Idol. Uh, they didn't make it on or whatever, but they had a show to do. They didn't let that stop them. You know, uh, in, in the entertainment business, we always say the show must go on. They, the show went on. They came down to Warm Daddies. When I tell you, it was a packed house. When I tell you, they performed and, and killed, killed the entire show. They, they were amazing. Chandy, I don't, his pain, his, 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 his delivery and his feeling comes through every song. I don't know if he worked some of that feeling of not proceeding on into that, but when I tell you, your if your eyes didn't water up, you had no soul. That's that's because you have no soul because this song delivered was so impactful and meaningful and emotional and heartfelt and it was every it was every embodiment of what a tribute to someone should be. It was an amazing song. It's amazing. It's an amazing song, dude. I can't, like, the song is amazing. Amazing. Then, after this, or before this happened, before that, 
we were all in our mood right now. Ladies were ready. Ladies were definitely ready. Let me let you know why. Because of this man right here, Mr. Watts himself. He, uh, Charlie came on and, and did this amazing, amazing, listen, it was so amazing. I'm pretty sure Maxwell called him back and was like, listen, if you ever sing my song uh, uh, better than me again, we gonna have a problem. Yo, it's funny, yo, he, he did, he did, he did, he did I know he did. I, know, I feel like y'all share and be like, yeah, so how you gonna do the song in Cleveland? Cause I'm gonna do it like this in Ohio. Like, how you gonna, no, he, he didn't killed it. He, <laughs> he killed it. Charlie killed it. Pretty Wings, it was, it, um, he's an amazing vocalist. But one thing about him and everybody in Beat Peace is that the positive attitude. You can, you can fake, people can fake a lot of different things, but you can't fake the genuine positive feel for and love for life people, music, and enjoyment of, and, and victory amongst self. When you wake up in the morning, it's that victory. And they have that every single time they wake up and they deliver it every single time they step out their front door. B Peace is amazing. Thank you. B Peace is amazing. I preach for a second. Um, <laughs> you have a lot of great performers, you have a lot of great artists, band, musicians, so forth and so on. Um, a lot of times in battle, people say if you, if you cut the head, the body will fall. That's because the head is one of the most is, is the most one of the most important parts. Because without the head, the lead, the body knows no place to go. And I'm standing here with a a man that has been doing his thing in the city for years, and he's amazing um, at every single thing that he puts his hands on. And he's wrapped his hands around. Be peace. Be at peace. I'm here with none other than uh, you might. Some people call him Christian, but I'ma call him Sap. It's <laughs> Sap Sounds. Sap Sounds. Every track pounds. Thank Woo! you guys so much for coming out. Thank you to the Be Peace team. Thank you all. Thank you to my wife for being for founding this with me, man. This is beautiful. I'm really glad that we're able to put up and coming artists on stage and express themselves and really continue to build with each other as long as it's positive, you know. We have a lot of music out there that doesn't influence people the right way. And a lot of people don't know they even have that influence. And so we're just here to, to use the influence we know we have to people put people on the right direction. Peace. Be at peace. Just trying to live life, young is trying to live right, trying to keep our heads right. Philly zone, it's Philly zone. I call this home the place I bone, make sure it's known. I came too far, look how I grown.